Tonight, a story that may shock you as a parent. Nine men, including one in central Indiana, have pleaded guilty for producing and distributing pornography involving infants and toddlers. It's the end of an 18-month investigation that began with a search warrant served on a Bloomington home. Reporter Chance Walzer from our script station, WRTV, goes inside this disturbing case. The youngest of the victims in this case was just two months old. Investigators say 26-year-old David Bostick of Bloomington built relationships of trust with their parents and then violated that trust. Among the worst of the worst. That's how the U.S. Attorney's Office describes nine men who have pleaded guilty in a case that involves some of the worst situations of child abuse investigators have ever seen. The, the victims in, uh, in this investigation do not have closure. They will um, bear the scars. Um, of their exploitation um, for years to come. The FBI began piecing the details together in the fall of 2010 when they executed a search warrant on 26-year-old David Bostick's Bloomington house. Inside, they found hundreds of images and videos of infants and toddlers, some just months old, engaged in sex acts. He did it by offering to babysit other people's children and winning the trust of the people who had custody of those kids. And then he abused that trust without the knowledge of the parents or people who had custody of the children. For the next 18 months, federal agents tracked the distribution of this media from Bloomington to eight other states, uncovering a ring of offenders who used social networking sites to communicate with one another. This week, the last of those nine men pleaded guilty in an Indiana courtroom. The sentences range from eight to 315 years, with Bostick receiving the longest prison term. It's vitally important for our system to recognize that this is a new thing that has to be stamped as unacceptable, uncivilized, something that needs to be eliminated and addressed. According to federal law, the punishment for these types of crimes is enhanced when dealing with children 12 years old and younger. One prosecutor in this case has made recommendations to a federal group to implement even tougher laws going forward. In Indianapolis, Chance Walser, 9 News.